Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dina and I'm here with my first brush review. I have a, um, I had a, uh, a request from one of my favorite, um, subscribers and I'll, tr I'll try to show you a picture. Hopefully if I can show you the picture, you'll see it right here. Um, if I can't show you the picture, then I'll just post her name right here. Okay, so that's one of my favorite subscribers. She's been, like, down with me since, like, day one. She always has really nice things to say to me, so shout big up to you. Thank you for watching my video. Um, give you a quick shout out. So, and um, I have requests, you know, people have given me requests before, and, oh, my God, I, I promise... You know, those videos are coming soon. I just, um, I gotta get it cracking. Anyway, so, so, um, I was really excited to do this video because, um, I never, you know, brushes are like essential. And, um, I know when I, before I purchased all of my brushes, I did a lot of research on YouTube and other places and stuff. So, um, I know getting, really quality information on brushes can save you a lot of money and it, it can really help so I'm glad to do it um, so thank you for the idea now to start off I'm gonna let you know what I'm working with let me kind of show you what my work table looks like you can see it's kind of what my when I'm doing my makeup that's what I put my my uh, my, my what's the name on but that's what I hold my makeup in it's my little mirror smell good palettes makeup Sephora inspired uh, makeup brush Kleenex light um, coffee my post-its whatever this is my what I hold my brushes in my color scheme of my room is red, black, and white, so that's why I have two little ribbons on there. And this is Sephora inspired. Um, of course, I got this idea from YouTube. I'm a YouTube junkie, just like you. You know, I, I post videos, but I'm looking at videos most of the time too. So, um, I got this idea from videos from YouTube, and it's just a vase. This vase was like $4.99 from Target. The ribbons were like a dollar ninety nine or whatever. Um, the vase filler, which is this like plastic stuff, was five ninety nine from Michaels, and that's it. I used to um, have like. This is how I set them up after I've washed them because these are washed and everything. This is how I set them up. Now, going through the week and like busting out my makeup and like throwing these back in, they'll look all discombobulated and all together and they won't be by name brand and they won't, the short ones, you know, they'll be all messed up. But when it's set and together, it looks like that. Really nice. But at the end of the week, it looks a mess. So that's where I hold my brushes. Now to kind of uh, go over which are my favorites and things like that. Um, and I'll go really quick. So the first brush is, this is a Target brand brush. I think it's called Studio something. They're really cheap. Um... Yeah, they're really cheap. And I use this for blush. Now, I, I got this brush not just because of the price. Just because a brush is cheap, I won't buy it. But um, I want it for a specific purpose. And this one, it's tapered. You can see it's, it's tapered and it's wide. So I'll, I use that to kind of like put on blush and then... I go like that like I'll put on I'll pat on blush I'll put blush on one side I'll pat the blush on 
and then I'll with the side that doesn't have any blush on it I'll just go like that to diffuse the color that's specifically what I use this brush for so like at the end of the week I kind of try to give my brushes a um, clean at least once a week so at the end of the week there's so much color on one side and then not really a lot of color on another on the other so that's how I use this brush you can use it um, for a lot of different a lot of different ways um, but I really like it because it's tapered and it's wide so um, that's specifically what I use this brush for can it do it be a dupe for anything I'm not sure um, it probably could be a dupe for I don't know um, oh shoot yeah hi YouTube so I'm back I'm sorry I know I look different it's the end of the day I just got off work and um, I couldn't finish with uh, something came up and I had to hurry and leave so I couldn't finish up on the original day that I started this video so this is a whole new day but it's all gonna be a one really short video so I'll, maybe let me put some more lipstick on so I look like a... okay so this one is a um, CVS brand I know in my other video I said it's a Target brand but it's actually CVS it's called I forget it's an off-brand name it was very cheap it came actually in a set with this one this one this one and this one these all came in the set they're all short handles that they're all sh short handles as you can see and um, I think this set was $9.99 for four brushes and they're really good this is like a foundation a, a concealer brush this one is a blush brush or powder brush this one is a foundation brush or blush brush and this one is just a uh, crease brush the next brush that came in the set is like um, a lot of people call it the skunk brush a lot of people call it um stippling brush whatever um it has like the hard synthetic bristles right here and then the softer ones in there what um what I use this brush for is I do use it to stipple on makeup and sometimes I use it for blush um, the favorite thing I use this thing for is for the blush because if you pat that into your blush when it's clean pat it into your blush and um, like make big circles around I mean it just it makes the application looks so natural and it makes the blush look like really like it can be your skin color so that's my favorite use for this I do use it to stipple on um, liquid foundation um, and it's really good for that I know a lot of people will take the brush and put it into their liquid foundation and then stipple it on like that and then blend it all out this brush if you have the Mac of this or if you whatever this whatever um, name brand of this brush that you have um, or if you're thinking about getting this brush it's really good um, I have this from CVS and then I also have a Mac one um, but I use it for two different things since the Mac is a little bit softer I use that only for for blush because um, it really diffuses the color and it makes it look like and this one isn't clear this one since these bristles are a little bit more firm I use this to do my foundation and for blush and if it's in between cleaning and it's too dirty and I don't want to use it I'll go back to a sponge and use a sponge I don't use this every time I put on foundation but for the most part I do because it really um, makes your foundation look flawless you know so that's that brush 